In this particular question, there are two people, Mrs. Bala and Mrs. Mano. They give us two different scenarios. But let's take a look at Mrs. Mano's, Mano's scenario. She bought the same packet of candies for her 33 pupils. She gave each of them 10 candies. And by looking at that information, since she gave each pupil 10 candies, I know that she actually gave out 33 times 10 candies, which is 310. And then she had 50 candies left. So I'm going to take 330 plus 50 candies. I will have 380 candies. And this 380 candies belongs to the packet of candies that she had bought. And referring back to the question, who else is in this scenario? Mrs. Bala. She also bought that same packet of candies, which inside includes 380 candies. So if they were to ask how many candies did Mrs. Bala give each of her pupils, we need to focus back to that part of the question. So let's go. She gave each of her pupils 25 candies, but that's not all. She had 55 candies left. So first of all, I need to remove that 55 candies. So by doing that, subtract 55 and I'll get 325. And that remaining 325 candies was then given to each of her 25 pupils. So 325 divided by 25, I will get 13. And this 13 means 13 candies that Mrs. Bala gave to each of her pupils. And 13 is the final answer.